the one vitamin that reverses nerve damage. And the reason I want to talk about this one vitamin is because it's the most common deficiency behind most nerve problems. Let's start with viruses. And I'm talking about two viruses that have the potential to go into the nerves on the face and create conditions like Bell's palsy. They can hide in this little nerve bundle called the ganglia. It's like a mini brain within the nerves that have this bundle of nerve cells. What's unique about it is the viruses go into those areas, those little bundles, to evade the immune system and kind of fly underneath the radar. And what the viruses do is they can turn off something called autophagy. Autophagy is a condition where you're recycling damaged proteins, but you're also recycling pathogens, bacteria, yeast, fungus, molds, and viruses. And because they're in this nerve bundle, they can hide with our immune system and they just kind of go to sleep. And our immune system doesn't know that they're there because they're not really doing anything, but just waiting for your stress to go up. Because when you have stress, you have cortisol. Cortisol is an immune suppressant. One of the most severe stresses that someone can go through is an emotional stress. And this is why a lot of these dormant viruses come out of remission after a stress event. Loss of a loved one is a huge one, loss of money. And I've seen this a lot of times in practice uh, with someone with a herpes virus or even shingles. I'll ask them what happened just before this. And sure enough, it was a stress event. And they can come out and create other problems too, like fibromyalgia, also problems on your face as well. There's one thing unique about those viruses. They need the amino acid called arginine to exist. And it just so happens that arginine competes with another amino acid called lysine. If you have enough lysine, you can block arginine and stop the reproduction of this virus. You have to take a lot of lysine to kind of compete and block arginine. You want to take 1,000 milligrams to 3,000 milligrams every single day for a period of time to put that virus back in remission, as well as do whatever you can do to reduce stress. Let's take another nerve problem, sciatica. That usually comes from a disc issue. A lot of people with disc problems are deficient in copper. If you have sciatica, you may want to try either taking a supplement with copper or just putting copper cream topically around that area in your back where it originates to reduce the discomfort. Next condition is carpal tunnel syndrome. That's in your wrist. This is usually a B6 deficiency. The primary nerve that supports myelin is B12, and that would be another type of nerve problem because if you're deficient in B12, you can get like electric shock-like sensations in your nervous system. Very, very painful or even numbness. And that's because B12 is involved with the myelin sheath around the nerve. That's the outer covering that protects the nerve, that insulates the nerve, that allows the signals to transmit. Then we get to MS, okay? This is an autoimmune disease. This can definitely affect your nerves, your brain. Vitamin D3 is essential in reducing inflammation within the nerve cells and also your brain cells. You need to take large amounts of vitamin D3, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 I use of vitamin D3 to put that condition into remission. There's a lot of research on this using something called the Coimbra protocol, which I will put a link down below for more information about that. Now let's get into the most common nerve problem that exists. And that is something relating to either prediabetes or diabetes. A lot of people with diabetes end up with nerve problems in their feet. They get numbness in the toes first, and then it kind of starts traveling in the foot the bottom of the foot becomes painful. The sugar in the blood is creating such a demand for this one vitamin, and that vitamin is called vitamin B1, thiamine. I would take it in the form of benfotamine because that tends to penetrate the myelin and get right into the nerve and very quickly reverse nerve damage that's caused from the high sugar. The more carbohydrates or sugar someone consumes, the greater the need for B1. If you're a pre-diabetic or you're diabetic, you have a lot of sugar going through the bloodstream. That means you're gonna need even more B1 to compensate. But of course, if you just come off the sugar, that might be a better solution. But benfotamine, this is a fat-soluble version of B1, is the best antidote for peripheral neuropathy because B1 is necessary for the metabolism of carbohydrates. And just as a very important side note, in order for B1 to work, there's another cofactor that you need, and that's magnesium. But I wanted to create this video kind of short and to the point and cover the most common issues uh, relating to nerves and what nutrients you should focus on to hopefully reduce those problems.